What is up, everybody? The History Guy here, and I have been so patiently waiting for the opportunity to share this one with you. This is Panzer Corps II. Uh, it is the sequel, the successor to the much-loved and the very popular Panzer Corps. And uh, I've had it for almost a week now. This uh, It's kind of a media build. It's given to those of us who are uh, content creators to get the word out about the game. But I haven't been able to share it with you until today. Today, the embargo is lifted, and we are able to talk about Panzer Corps II. I'm going to show you a little bit of the... Uh, campaign mode for the game and talk through some of what will be available on this game. They've just announced that it will be released on March 19th for PC and uh, it's going to be available in English, German, Spanish, French, Russian, and Chinese. And we'll get into the ca campaign and I'll talk a little bit about some of the features that will be available on this game as we do that. Okay, so we're going to dive in. It does have a multiplayer mode. Of course, that is not available uh, with this current build, but it will be with full release, and that could be exciting as well. There are mods that will be available, of course. Uh, we're going to go ahead and dive into, uh, you can see this tutorial, which isn't available right now, but the campaign is what we're going to play through starting today, and I will do a full playthrough uh, of a couple of the campaigns between now and February. Uh, we've got five Wehrmacht campaigns available on the German side. You can play Poland, 1939, Operation Barbarossa, which is the invasion of the Soviet Union in 1941. We've got the North Africa campaign in 1941. We've got Kursk in 1943 in the Soviet Union on the Eastern Front. And then we've got the defense of Sicily uh, during the Allied invasion of Italy in 1943. So for this particular campaign, we're going to go ahead and just dive into uh, the battle for Poland. Now we're going to go ahead and play on kernel difficulty. There are five difficulties, and you can see each one has an effect on prestige and base accuracy uh, in the game. And there are also advanced options available. Combat randomness you can change. There's so much replayability to this, uh, even with what I've already seen. And you can see all the uh, different things that you can affect uh, in the settings to begin with. So uh, we're going to go ahead and just keep things as they are and dive into this Wehrmacht campaign. Now you have two options in taking on the Wehrmacht campaign. You can take on Poland North and Poland South. There were these two different army groups for the Germans that were attacking. Uh, and you can see uh, what the strategic warning is here depending on which one you choose to do. We're going to go ahead and do Poland North for this particular mission. Now one of the things I love about Panzer Corps and of course now Panzer Corps II is the immersion into the game, the the story that you find yourself a part of, because you are a general. And as a general, you start with kind of, the, there's an RPG flavor to this. Uh, so you get to start, and you can, of course, name your character. I am History Guy. And now you get to pick strengths and or weaknesses. You get one selection to remain. I can pick one strength. Now, beyond that, if I want more strengths, I have to add weaknesses. And there are so many things that can affect the replayability of this game, depending on what you choose to do. Uh, I'll just show you a few of the examples. If I choose Industry Connections, I get 10 to 20 random prototypes in every mission. Battle Academy uh, means that I'll get a plus 25% experience growth rate. Flex flexible Command means that splitting units does not consume unit slots. Uh, of course, on the weaknesses, you get Denied Artillery means you can't purchase artillery. Uh, denied Air Force, I can't imagine doing that, but that would give you two bonuses on the strength side. Poor maintenance, um, I didn't mean to click that. Chaotic Fire, units spend two points of ammo on each attack instead of one. Poor ground control, enemy units can free, freely move through zone of control. For this particular campaign, my first time through, I'm not going to choose any weaknesses. I'm just going to choose one strength. I also have to choose my, I like that guy, he looks pretty cool. Um, choose my one thing that I want to do here. Uh, Anti-air veteran. Anti-air units inflict outright kills instead of suppression. Um, I'm going to go with deadly grasp. Encircled enemy units suffer twice the penalty because that way I know that if I try to encircle units, I'm going to be able to get that bonus. So let's go ahead and dive into this. So Poland North, uh, September 1st, 1939. And now we have our briefing. Please have a seat. I'll speak with you shortly. Picks up his telephone. He, even his mouth opens. That's just little little things like that I like. Yes, I'm still here. As I was saying, we are well established here at Jastro, and the newly promoted general is now here with me. Are you certain they're ready for frontline combat? We're just about to take the first steps of Falweiss and cross the Polish border. 
I see that's a quite impressive recommendation. I guess that's about me. So, well, this old man remains unconvinced. My time on the battlefield may be long past, but I will, of course, advise them to the best of my ability. Glory to the fatherland. Okay. Let's do this. All right, Herr General, it looks like you're officially part of our invasion of Poland, so I'd better brief you on the current situation. So here we go. Primary objective, capture all victory hexes. There are three of them that I've got to take. As you can see, we're deploying your new Panzer Corps to Jastro to combine with elements of Klug's 4th Army. Your immediate objective is to cut the Danzig Corridor by advancing to the Vistula River. Our enemy has undoubtedly planned for this maneuver to link Germany and East Prussia, but I believe you can preempt them by intercepting their forces here before they reach more defensible positions. To fully take control of the corridor, though, these two major crossings on the Vistula must be occupied. If you see the opportunity, crossing the Vistula here in a flanking maneuver could help you take your objectives easier. Good luck in your first combat operation, Herr General. Uh, Herr General, I guess I should say. I would hate for it to be your last. Thanks a lot, dude. All right, so we start with deployment. I'm just going to go ahead for the purposes of this and just keep deployment as it is. Uh, now we get right into player, uh, my player's first turn. So the original Panzer Corps had about 700 different unit types, which is amazing in and of itself. But this new game is going to have over 1,000 different unit types. Of course, you've got different nationalities, and so there's all those sorts of things going on. But uh, I'll just take a look here in the, the purchase units area, and you can see what's available to me right now. These are infantry units that are available, cavalry, um, Brooklyn Pioneer, uh, Pioneer uh, Vera Infantry, Grenadiers. And then, of course, you can add Opal Blitz trucks to help transport them a little faster. We've got these different tanks that are available at the moment. Remember... As time goes on, there'll be new things available, new research, such uh, we've got recon vehicles, anti-tank, anti-air, artillery, fighter, tactical bombers, uh, strategic bombers. So these are all things that are available right now. You can also upgrade the existing units that you have, uh, depending on you know, what you may want. So for example, this tactical bomber that I've got, if I decided I didn't need that and I wanted a fighter instead, I can, uh, once we get at the end of this turn, the beginning of the next turn, I can click that upgrade button and I can upgrade to a different kind of unit. In the full game, there are 61 different scenarios in the single player campaign. There were 26 in the original Panzer Corps. Uh, there's a random map generator for skirmish mode for both single player and the multiplayer mode. That'll be very cool to be able to do that as well. Uh, new tactical change, uh, challenges game mode that will be available. There is live multiplayer as well as hot seat and play by email that will be available in the game. Uh, there's co-op mode. There will be tournaments and, of course, chat in the lobby. So these are all great features. There's a lot more that I'll get into, but let's take a look at a little bit of gameplay first. So I'm going to go ahead and buy some additional um, units here. I think I'm going to get some more Panzers to take into this fight right off the bat. So let's go ahead and, and purchase one here. Uh, if I'm gonna purchase these, I may as well do it right at the very beginning. You can see I've got 1100 uh, in uh, prestige available to me. I get 100 per turn. That'll change as I capture victory locations, but I can also use those prestige points to, uh, to reinforce my units that may suffer damage throughout this campaign. So I'm gonna kind of move slowly until I see what I may be up against. And you can see that with the infantry, if you go, you can go further with the ones that have trucks enabled, and you can see how far the trucks will take them. But of course, that means they load up into the trucks, and that probably makes them more vulnerable uh, in combat. Uh, and right off the bat, you can see here, anytime I've got an advantage, I think I'll take it. And we're going to try and hit that artillery with our flamethrowers here. Let's go ahead and bring in the artillery of our own but keep them back a little ways we didn't cause any casualties but we did suppress there so that was good the quicker i can just completely eliminate a unit the better because then it can't be reinforced let's go ahead and bring these panzers forward i don't want to i don't want to do anything too too quickly uh, just because you know i'm still kind of finding my way in this game all right we're going to capture a location here uh, 50 prestige for that. Excellent. I don't know if that means 50 every turn. Now it looks like it's just a straight 50. 
So now we've got to kind of spread out a little bit here because the objectives we have to take are all in the southeast. But we also have to deal with, it told us to kind of make sure we deal with these folks up here before they find themselves getting into a defensive position. The unit I just purchased, I can't move yet. And it looks like I, I moved my air unit without really thinking that once you move it, you kind of can't unmove it. So um, I don't think I can undo. Oh, that's just the last action. In the beta version, undo is unlimited. Eventually it won't be. I, I think I want to buy some more here. Um, what about a recon unit? I'm looking at their stats here. You can see strength, how many slots it takes. I've got 10 slots available. Their max fuel, their max ammo, soft attack. That's what I'm mostly concerned about is soft attack versus hard attack uh, on these. Let's go ahead and purchase one of these. You know, with time, I'll learn what works, what doesn't. Uh, what kinds of units I want to have in the different uh, battles and everything, but I think we're good for now. Let's go ahead and end our turn. I want to get myself a fighter. I should have done that because seeing that he's got air power now, uh, if I can bring in some fighters to deal with them, that'll be ideal. Right now, I've just got the bomber. Hey, cavalry! All right, so I see I got that Panzer out there too far, and they took a lot of casualties. Oh, man. I just let that unit march right in there. All right, so let's go ahead and, and pick up a fighter. Got the BF-109E. These Measure Schmitz, they're nice. And we're going to bring these Panzers up in here to deal with these guys. Um, there is, you can have up to eight players in multiplayer on this game, which is really, really cool. In fact, they have a free-for-all mode, which I'm really excited to kind of dive in and see what that's like. That would just be insane. I think that would be a lot of fun. Dozens of map skins for different locations, seasons, and weather. Uh, simultaneous unit actions to greatly speed up players and especially AI turns. Uh, In-depth briefings, briefings, which we talked about. There's 60 minutes of music. Of course, you're not going to hear the music here just because um, I find it takes away from uh, my gameplay if I'm kind of trying to talk over the music. So uh, you'll have to check the game out for yourself to get that. Now, if you're familiar with the game Panzer Corps, there are some things that are new in the game mechanics. This uses an Unreal Engine, which is, is kind of fantastic, and I love that idea. Um, sorry, I'm trying to talk through stuff while I'm also doing this. Uh, splitting a single unit into two smaller attachments, uh, there may be times when that makes sense to do that. I want to get this Panzer out of here. Although I probably could have taken out that cavalry unit with him. Uh, you also can overrun. Uh, tanks can push through destroyed units and carry on their Blitzkrieg. And we'll probably see that happen uh, here on this game, uh, in this battle. All right, I'm not able to use my planes at the moment, apparently. Okay. I think, uh, who else do we have that we can use? Oh, we've got this Panzer unit here. Let's use them. To finish off this oh, I guess I can't okay wonder why I can't take on that cavalry unit all right we're gonna start moving some of these units down this way all right and that's all of them uh, capturing enemy equipment is new. Unique commander and hero abilities. You can earn heroes uh, depending on things that happen during the game. And you can attach those heroes to unique abilities with them. So um, you can select initial traits for your general, uh, as we saw already, and attach heroes to units. Uh, new systems for aerial naval warfare. Fighters and bombers fly sorties out of their home bases, returning to them at the start of each turn. Uh, so, yeah, so you'll see that my my planes, after I make my attack, they'll return to their home base, and you can rebase. So once I capture this air base down here, I can rebase them so that they'll be closer for future attacks. Now, who is this? This is my BF-109, so I want to get them in here and attack his bombers. 
All right, and then this is my uh, Junker 87B. So these are bombers. I can go finish off the cavalry. Beautiful. All right, now let's go ahead and press on. And I'll just hit the next unit here. I'm a little nervous about moving so far in advance right now. So I'm going to come over here and capture this area here. Uh, let's see. I'll go ahead and attack here, but after this I'll probably replenish this recon unit before I do anything else with them. Although I may not get the chance, so we're going to pull them back. Thankfully we can attack and then pull back with recon. Uh, now here we're going to replace uh, some of these units. You can do regular replace, which would be a plus 5 to the strength. It's going to cost 68, but I lose experience. It costs 127 to do elite replacements, but I don't lose the experience that way. So we're going to do that. All right, let's move up our artillery slowly. So I'm going to engage uh, a couple more of these units, but I've got to start pressing down this way. It's turn three. I've only got 12 turns to take all three of these objectives. All right, let's get some encirclement going here. Oh, maybe. Nah, we ran into another unit. That's okay. I'm going to try and take this artillery out. Now I'm encircled. That's not ideal, I guess. All right, we're not encircled anymore because we took out the artillery. All right, who else do we have to use? Anybody? All right, that's all of our units. All right, on to turn four. need another fighter unit maybe or just have to try and deal with these guys the best we can with one fighter unit ah oh, gotta be careful i'm gonna lose that infantry unit oh look at that award ceremony the second Ver infantry has been decorated with heroic defense level one award because they survived. Uh, as long as this unit has more than one strength, it will always survive an enemy attack. That's cool. So uh, we've got to keep that unit alive after winning that award. Did I already lose them? No, they're right here. Okay. Let's give them elite replacements. Excellent. But let's get down in here and help them out as best we can. Circle. See, now we did the overrun, so now we can push ahead and we can actually continue the attack. That's a really cool feature with these panzers. I like that a lot. All right, we're going to bring these guys down and get an encirclement here. Oh, darn it. We ran into another enemy zone of control. Same guy we ran into before, I think. I need to start pushing down this way. These guys are encircled. We get our bonus for that. So we inflict double casualties or double whatever we may get, depending on what it is. I'm going to finish this guy off right here. Ah, uh, maybe not. He lives to fight another day. Let's get this guy replenished. All right, this is our fighter. And then after he does his attack at the end of the turn, he will return to base. Now we can bring in our bomber and finish off this recon unit. Perfect. All right, let's start advancing toward this first objective. We can see it's held by some artillery. I need to bring some help down before I go deal with that. All right, before this next turn starts, we're going to go ahead and purchase a pioneer unit. And the reason why is that he's got this guy chilling back here that I want to make sure that I've got somebody to deal with. I think we're ready to go to the next turn. be taking out that bomber on this turn. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and start with that. Oh, that's our bomber there. Let's go ahead and deal with him. 
Bye bye. All right. We're going to move up and take this area here, and we'll just kind of keep an eye on him. But now we need to start thinking about our movement sound. All right. We push that guy right into this other Panzer unit. And he's gone. And now I actually, because I got the overrun, I can actually go ahead and replace on the same turn. So that's perfect. I'm going to go ahead and get everybody replenished before we start moving on these objectives. Nice. This one's going to be fairly easy. I have a feeling the other two will be much more difficult. I want to take this airfield, like I said earlier, so that I can um, I can rebase my units. We're going to go ahead and move the artillery by truck. I really would like to get across here and be able to hit these two cities from the rear rather than attacking them head on. Where's my bomber? There we go. Nice. So we've all but overrun that unit there. We've got a recon unit back here still. We'll move them up as far as we can. All right. On to the next turn. Here he comes. I knew that was going to happen. Hello. Goodbye. Yeah, it'll be goodbye right now. All right. Now let's see if we can overrun this base so we can just rebase the air power on this turn. Good. Now we'll move these guys in here. We'll take the objective. That's 100 prestige. Now let's go ahead and try to rebase these guys if we can. Rebase. Right there. So now they'll launch their future attacks out of there. I'm going to go ahead and keep these guys here, I think, because they're, they're not going to be... I didn't add any... Uh, trucks for them, so they're not really going to be able to do a whole lot for me, at least not right now. I think the Panzers are probably not going to be the ideal way of attacking right here. Yeah, I can see that. In fact, I probably should, if I can, undo that move. Yes. We're going to bring them down this way. I'll bring the artillery over here. I'll bring the infantry this way and put them up front. But really, we want to attack these guys from down there if we can. All right. I think we're good. We've still got eight more turns. I'm going to go ahead and replenish these guys. Oh, I can't. Ah, I just made everybody get stuck. Can we undo that? Yeah, we can. Nice. All right, now we've got these guys encircled. Now, that's my fighter. Can I hit him with... Yeah, I can hit the artillery with my fighter. Do a little scraping around there. Now we'll take the bomber in. Uh, maybe if nothing else, we can at least suppress these guys a little bit. Yeah, we did some of that. All right, we'll get them replenished. Let's start bringing up the artillery. No, I don't think we'll do that. And we don't want to do that either. All right, I think we're good. 
More cavalry coming. Start hitting with artillery, hitting with our bombers. Try to soften. He's going to keep replenishing that target, so that's going to make it. Oh, there we go. Now that we've got him encircled. Perfect. Love it. All right, he surrendered. That worked out nicely. I'm going to pull this unit back. Bring this one up. And we've got plenty of time to get this last objective. We can strafe the artillery again. All right, I think that's everybody, except for that unit that I'm not really doing anything with. We'll keep them right there for now. All right. Oh, hello. Nice. Big suppression right there with the artillery. Fourth Panzer Infantry Brigade, another heroic defense unit. Very cool. Love when that happens. Anytime we can get an upgrade. Um, I think I want to just go ahead and upgrade them too. We'll bring these guys around. Artillery, let's strafe them again. Then let's hit somebody with the bombers. Maybe we can finish off this cavalry. There we go. I think we're good there. Can we bring these panzers around and hit his artillery? I feel like this is going pretty well. Of course, it is Poland. I shouldn't be too excited, I guess. Nothing against our Polish friends. Uh, it's just that this particular invasion didn't go real well for you guys. Okay, we are on to the doorstep of the last objective. Oh, hello. Got some tanks. Okay. Let's get these guys replenished. They're just going to kind of hang tight up here and, and hold that objective. We've got to definitely replace these guys. Now we need to encircle this city. I think I'm going to go ahead and make that attack happen. I'm going to pull them out. We'll sit tight there.
I think that's about it. Okay. Just need that infantry to hold right there while I take the last objective. Don't want to let him take it back. There it is. Victory. All right. So we can look here and see what experience, heroes, and medals have been earned. You can see the two units, uh, the 2nd Var Infantry and the 4th uh, Panzer, Panzer Infantry Brigade uh, that both won medals in that one. You can see this is a cool thing here, too. The amount of points worth of uh, casualties were inflicted versus the casualties that were taken. And every one of my units had a better than 50% kill versus losses ratio, which is what we want to see happen. Uh, so I feel like that went pretty well. Uh, let's go ahead and continue and just see where we stand with the campaign. We're going to wrap it up right there. There's still so much more to talk about, so much more to review, but this is really just kind of a first look. Oh, this Klar, Herr, Gen Herr General. I've got good news for you. Your success in the Danzig Corridor, coupled with von Rundstedt's advances south of you, have virtually encircled the Polish capital of Warsaw. In order to prevent the Poles from establishing a second line, I'm ordering you deep into the Polish interior. So this will be the next battle. Uh, will be to take these victory hexes. Uh, our ultimate objective lies all the way in the distant Voladwa, uh, Voladwa uh, here on the Bug River. Uh, so we'll look at all of that in the next episode. And it looks like we've got to deploy and just kind of dive right into this next one. So let me know your thoughts. Is there anything in particular that you have a question about uh, or you'd like me to discuss that I haven't already? I'll certainly try to do that. And uh, I will be back from Gettysburg in a couple of days and ready to take on the next part of this campaign. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again soon.